Hey, what's up? So, there was this ongoing debate about the motorbike. Some people think that it's only visual while others continue to use it, believing that it actually does more damage. So, today we are going to find out. I'll start with the common method. And this is the amount of damage done. We will compare to the damage of a single motor without using the glitch just to confirm. Looking at this, I think it's safe to say that both have an equal amount of damage as some of it was also absorbed by plant blocks in the first try. This time I'll create a longer horizontal chain for testing the bug. As you can see there are more motor balls or whatever you wanna call them. But the damage inflicted is equal to that of a single motor. Isn't that interesting? The tests do not end here because there are many other possibilities. So I have created a vertical chain this time. And surprisingly, it did more damage. So I experimented with different combinations to replicate the effect of vertical chains. And in the process I found out that this works the best. Basically you just have to crouch and aim at a 45 or 60 degree angle from the ground so that this happens. It creates a duplicate in the upper plant block as you are pretty much throwing it through it. And furthermore it drops outside at a distance. And just for testing purposes I created 10 motors. Used them without the bug and then with the bug and then compared the amount of damage. That's a lot of damage! Finally, on a serious note, the main purpose of this video was to end the debate and prove that it actually works. More importantly, I'm not really promoting the use of any bugs or glitches as they are profoundly unfair and if anyone uses bugs or hacks to gain unfair advantage, then that person is a d-head, I don't know what else to say. And that's it for now, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully.